This week, a video surfaced of the critically endangered hangul that was spotted in a herd in the Dachigam National Park in Kashmir. Hangul, also called the Kashmir stag, are found in high mountains and valleys in the states of Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh. The hangul is classified as a red deer and according to the latest census, there are just about 250 or so hangul individuals left in the wild. This video is all about the hangul that is endemic to Kashmir. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. The hangul is a subspecies of Central Asian red deer, the Cervus hanglu. The hangul scientific name is Cervus hanglu hanglu. It is endemic to Kashmir, which means that it is native to the state. The name Cervus hanglu for the Central Asian red deer itself comes from the name for this deer, hangul, because the antlers of this deer differed from the other red deer that were already classified back in 1840s. This makes the hangul or the Kashmiri stag the nominate subspecies or the model animal after which the new subspecies was named. Subsequently, this Central Asian red deer became a species of the red deer and the Kashmiri stag became a subspecies of the Central Asian red deer. Now there's a bit of an irony here because genetic analysis shows that the Kashmiri hangul are actually a type of elk, the Cervus canadensis. This was shown in 2006 or so using mitochondrial DNA genetics. But still, the IUCN, which is the organization that classifies animals internationally, considers the hangul a subspecies of the Central Asian red deer only, and they're also the same genus, so quite closely related genetically as well. The deer is found in the Kashmir Valley and also in the northern parts of the Chamba district in Himachal. It is protected in some sanctuaries like the Dachikam National Park, the Ovira Wildlife Sanctuary, the Chesh Mashahi Forest Reserve and areas nearby which lie within the range of the deer. But of course the deer are not protected when they're out in the wild, naturally. The hangul are not solitary, just like most ungulates or hoofed animals, they live in groups. Groups are herds and they consist of two plus individuals going up to about 20 or so, primarily led by and composed of females. Groups live in forests with dense vegetation and are high altitude inhabitants. They live at heights of over 300 meters above sea level. They have giant antlers that are very large and have multiple points, nearly 15 points. So as expected, they were very attractive to poachers and hunters. They continue to be dangerously threatened even today as expected by human activity. Their numbers came down drastically in the 20th century. Their biggest threats were and are habitat destruction, poaching and overgrazing of natural lands by livestock. This happened constantly through colonial times after they were named and recognized in 1844 and their numbers came down almost explosively, unfortunately, during and after independence. In 1940, it is thought that there were about 4,000 to 5,000 individuals and in 1970, there were only 150 hangul. Of course, this is due to constant human activity in the wild areas of Kashmir because of armed conflict. The conflict has also sealed off a lot of areas that were accessible to people who lived with livestock. So the farmers in groups who live here have had to move their herds and get them to graze in Dachigam, where the Hangul primarily live. On top of that, there are dogs, both dogs belonging to civilians and security forces that are a huge threat to the survival of fawns or the young ones of the deer. In the 1970s, this drastic drop in the hangul number set off a lot of alarms. So the former state of Jammu and Kashmir worked with the IUCN and WWF to protect the existing individuals and raise their numbers. This was called Project Hangul. The Hangul were given protected status under the Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. The Hangul was also, incidentally, the state animal of Jammu and Kashmir. 
While these animals were widely distributed over the mountains of Kashmir and parts of Himachal Pradesh, the population today is largely confined to the Tachigam sanctuary, just about 140 square kilometers or so. Here, their population is rigorously monitored and surveys are conducted regularly. These seem to help a little. Since 2004, the population estimates have ranged from 150 to 250 every year, a bit up and down. In 2019, the individual numbers were 237 and the 2021 census data indicates a marginal improvement. The population numbers have currently touched 261. A big problem with this deer population is that even when they're protected, they seem to have very few fawns. The fawn to female ratio is often a measure that's used to see how many young survive and the hangul ratio has been declining very rapidly in recent years. As of 2019, for every 100 females, there are only 9 fawns. There's also a decline in male to female ratio. For every 100 females, there have been just about 15 or so males as of 2019. This does not look good for the long term and these ratios continue to decline. There are many reasons for this, including lack of good breeding and good selection for breeding and also dropping fawn survival. To help boost numbers, biologists and conservationists are engaging in detailed study of breeding, food and movement patterns of the hangul. Several individuals have been tagged with satellite collars and continue to provide data regularly. There are also efforts to get the animals to breed naturally with one another without capturing and breeding them in captivity, which seems to worsen stress and then will worsen these ratios even more. The hope is that the hangul start to show improvement in their genetic diversity and the population of this critically endangered special species goes up.